Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Monday. It's been a lot going on, child, but especially on social media. And once again, everybody's favorite couple or soon to be ex couple for like the hundredth time, Krishan and Blueface are into it. So what's going down now is this. If you guys don't know, Krishan is getting ready to turn the big two, three. She's about to be 23 years old and she's been in Miami with her homegirls, honey, living her best life. She's on some type of speedboat. Her lashes are flying everywhere. She's in her string bikini. She's having a good time. She has that pregnancy glow. She looks gorgeous, right? And so people were kind of surprised, like, okay, we see you out here partying and chilling with your homegirls. Where is Blueface? You know, why is he not partying with you for your birthday? So people were asking Blue, like, why are you not there for her? You know what I'm saying? Krishan goes all out for you. Why are you not there with her? And Blueface proceeds to go off. So basically, he took the social media and he wrote this. Perfect timing, LOL, bitch ain't done nothing for my C-Day. Since females love equality, me too as bitch. It's cool when I do it. It's a... It's cool when I do it. It's a problem when I do it. Ask bitch, stand on it when it's your turn. Then he says, have you ever noticed that when you treat bitches like shit, they act right? When you too nice to them, they take advantage? Plan C. I've only had one solid bitch my entire life, and it ain't who y'all think it is. All right, I'm done playing. I'm going to leave this bitch pregnant. Let's see if that me too works. Laugh my ass off. Men can't get pregnant for a reason. That pussy got power. It can create life for real. You know your worth. Pussy is more valuable than dick. Bitches ain't cute outside pregnant. I can be a man to a woman. I can't be a man to no woman that think that they can do what men can do. It ain't equal. Then he goes on to say the truth hurts for real. She's pregnant, missing a tooth with seven tattoos, finna make a fool of herself with the next nigga, and I'm not pregnant at all. Finna live my life perfectly fine with the next bitch who gonna take me even more serious. Now it's really tragic, for real. Women are more valuable than men. So he went off on his rant and he posted a picture of him on his yacht. He's out there in Dubai with a bunch of other girls having a good old funky time. So here goes the video. So then Krishan hops online and she says the following. I feel every bit of your pain and anger. Your reaction is reasonable. Revengeful heart. Just don't go anywhere. So be safe with that. And two, I hurt you so bad that you lose yourself and convince yourself to hate me publicly. Then she says, I heard you loud and clear. I get I'm not mad at him or about whatever. I'm grateful you love me this far and I'll never stop loving you. You so angry. You can just fight with yourself and get all that off your chest. Then she says, I take you seriously. You just hate me right now. And I don't need the next nigga. I got myself. Then she says, ships don't sink because of water around them. Ships sink because of the water that gets in them. Don't let what's happening around you get inside you and weigh you down. Then she says, I don't regret anything about myself. So honestly, trying to pull me down is a low blow coming from a man that know he loves me. So that is what Krishan had to say. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. And then Blueface also proceeded to show video of his first baby's mother, Jaden Alexis. Basically, in this video, Jaden is announcing that she is pregnant with her second child by Blueface. So Blueface wrote this, this is what it's supposed to look like when a woman tells a man she's pregnant. Any other response or question, you should abort the baby and treat the next nigga better for the sake of you and him 
and the baby. No man should question the paternity of a child. If they got her, nine times out of ten, the woman ain't been valuing herself enough, which makes them believe there's a possibility it's not theirs. This is a wholesome, beautiful moment that every righteous woman deserves for real. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the video. Right here. Hmm? Yeah. Bill, yeah. surprise for you. Oh, surprise. Thanks for that. Why are you so young? Surprise for you guys. Open it. Open it. Open it. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this? Pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Now it's right. Huh? You know what that is? No. All right, so you guys just saw the video. So then after that went viral, then Krishan jumped online and she had a response to Blueface. You know, she's really upset. Then there was another video of her at the airport ranting and raving. And then Blueface gets online and he goes off as well. So I want you guys to watch these videos right here. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lately, I haven't been on the Instagram shit. I haven't been like talking to y'all. Like, you know how I used to go on rants and used to cry a lot and tell y'all what's going on. Well, some real shit. I'm going to be a buck, my nigga. You really don't need nobody to be happy. It's really you have to be happy with yourself. Like, 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 I'm learning, like, like, since I've been, like, real sober and shit, and then, like, for real, for real, myself, I just, like, learn how to back off so bad that I'm silent, like, and God just get to moving and talking for me, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what to really say, like, like, he, he say, fuck you, ho, all types of shit. Call me all types of hoes because it's niggas in my, in my face or niggas in my DMs. But what you expect if you publicly treat me like shit, like we not really like, I don't really think motherfuckers really think it's a good story I know so well. But like, oh, hey, all Miranda, hey, all the bitches in here really standing up in my live like I'm somebody that's crazy about y'all. And Erica Badu follow the bitch. Hey Erica Badu. <laughs> For real, y'all lit. But um shit like damn, like what do we is it like this is not supposed to be hard. Yeah, it's like a hood love story, my nigga. And I'm just like, alright, when is this hood love story got a happy ending? Or do it ever have a happy ending? I'm not one of the motherfuckers that's trying to get at 40 years old and not really like, like, all right, when we have our arguments, it's like, we flexing, like, all right, like, all right, I'm like, say something like, well, bitch, play your role. I'm the director, and if you want to play your role in this, in my movie, then get the fuck on, right? He said some shit like that, right? I'm like... Play your role. You must be drunk, daddy. Like, all right, you must be drunk. So I text you like, you drunk and you mad at me. That's crazy. Then I text back, play your role. You play your role. What the fuck role you talking about? This role is together. If it's not together, stop. Like, Ray, you want to be just sister and brothers because you a cool ass brother to fight here and there. Get it over with. Like, I love you. Like, what the fuck? Talking about play your role. Babe, what the fuck? Play your role. How is this? Play what? Play dumb? Play like, play like, like when, when shit go left with you and other people. I don't. I feel like, damn. My first baby mama's a real bitch. And I feel bad because I've been dealing with this me too ass bitch. You hear me? My being, she ain't no me too ass bitch. I ain't never seen her in the club with nobody, no none, none of that, no none of that, no nothing. You can YouTube it, Google it, whatever you gotta do. Guarantee you won't see my baby mama on none of that, right? So now today I'm thinking like, damn, 
I should have just been with that bitch. I didn't boss this bitch up, made her whole life just to just to get even with me. You know what I'm saying? You're not hearing me, cause I'm scared of crit. Like it's not the same, cause you need to wake up. Feel me? Niggas always think about the the real bitch that they had versus this the Me Too bitch that's like in the way. It's not about clout, not about money, it's not about none of that. What females fail to realize is niggas would rather be with a broke, nobody ass bitch than to be with a bitch with status or a bitch with fame who gonna be on some Me Too, I can do it too. You know what I'm saying? This is why men date down and women date up. That's the double standard, right? If a man date down, it's cool. If a woman date up, it's cool. But if it's vice versa, it's gonna be questionnaires. It's gonna be weird. Motherfuckers gonna be, oh, ah, he only this or he only that. You know what I'm saying? Like you just need to understand, cause like, I need to understand. It's not the same. Men and women are not the same. That's all I'm trying to. So if you think your pussy. Hey, I'll make sure I get a fucking license by tomorrow so we can go buy a car. Like, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? Like, like, Make a good one with little, little Zeus. Just put that check down the middle. I don't think I'm gonna cut out. Resign to a label. I'm not even signed. This is a verbal agreement. That's why I fuck with you. He's so genuine. I don't got no paperwork. He's not really my manager. He's just a nigga that's down with me. He fuck with me. We fucking on each other. It's fucking up everything, and that's that. But if we got part ways, let me part ways and really, like, elevate. I'm not going to even try shit on you. I just know it's better for me. Just like it's better for you. Like, however you want your program ran, you know damn well you'll be running it. Like, I don't know why we're so confusing about any of this. Yeah, it was a verbal agreement. I swear to God, I'm under no paperwork. Uh, he just a real ass living. That's why if he got mad today, he could be like, yeah, bitch, leave my house. Because that's his shit. And I'll be like, nah, what the fuck? Where the money is so I can leave real quick. I'm about to send me out my So why you keep the baby? I'm keeping the baby for me. Feel me? I did this shit weird shit to my body too many times. I mean, I, mean, I can, can risk it and do it one more time. time. But, but y'all think it's so happy, ha fucking hard having a baby and taking care of it by itself when it's not. Like, like I like to free people on so I all right, so you guys just saw those videos. And I think, you know, the saddest part in all this is that now he's trying to use Jaden Alexis, you know, once it's convenient. Let's not forget, honestly, Jaden, let's not forget that Jaden Alexis was honestly his day one. This was the girl he had been with since high school. This was his high school sweetheart. Krishan was the side chick. Like, can we just have a real conversation here? Krishan was a side chick. Jaden has been there with Blueface through ups and downs, good and bad. He, you know, basically goes between the two of them. I don't understand why she allows it. It makes no sense. Um, even while he was publicly with Krishan, she was pregnant. And so now he wants to use her and say that she's a righteous woman and this is what it is to be a baby's mother. But it's funny that he only brings her up to throw her in his potential baby's mother's face. Because if he really had respect for this so-called righteous woman, he wouldn't have put Jade and Alexis through all the bullshit that he's put her through over the years with the constant cheating, throwing women in her face, disrespecting her. So I don't respect the fact that he tried to drag her into this just to make Krishan mad. Nobody is better than the original. See, 
you. Hey, Let me tell you something. I think the problem that's going on right now is the fact that Krishan is pregnant. And she's becoming more sober because she can't drink like a fish. Uh, she can't, you know, be coked out her mind or whatever the hell they do out there in Hollywood. She's becoming more sober. And because she's out here having her fun, she's, you know, doing bikini pictures and showing off her body. It's making him feel away because she's supposed to be, you know, right next to him, you know, at his beck and call. And the fact that she's living her life and again, gaining more, more popularity than he has. He's upset about that. And I think because she's more sober, she's having more of an awakening. She's starting to see things for what it is. Now, again, you know, she says a lot of cute things. She knows that she's in a messed up situation. But I don't take it too seriously as far as her fully leaving him because she says all that and then she'll be right back with him next week with that big toothless grin, happy that she's back under her man. So I'm not going to take her seriously either when she talks about him and, you know, how she wants to leave him. I just think they're just both in a toxic situation. You know, um, she is in love with him for whatever reason and she thinks she can't do better. He needs her more than she needs him. Like I said, nobody is checking for him on that level, musically or anything. They're only checking for him because of her. So it's almost like he's stuck with this woman that he really doesn't want to be with. He's been wanting to fall back from her, but because, for whatever reason, social media really loves this dynamic, it's like he's kind of stuck. So they're both miserable, but unfortunately, now you have a baby that's being brought into this mix. And I think that's the part that's really unfortunate because the baby didn't ask to be here. And now this baby's being brought into all this toxicity. I mean, you even have the mother talking down on her and having so much to say about the relationship. But Krishan is definitely stuck on Jonathan. I don't know what it is. I mean, even she went viral this weekend because people realized she got a new tattoo. And that tattoo clearly says Jonathan's P-U-S-S-Y. So you're not more stuck than that, honey. If you're getting a tattoo near your private saying that somebody else owns them, that says a lot. And I just hope that she ends up, you know, getting out this situation and realizing that she doesn't need Blueface. She doesn't need him. That, you know, people do love her. They do love her personality and that she can make it without him. And hopefully she'll wake up and realize that. But I just think this whole situation, it's, it's sad. And the fact that he's constantly saying, get an abortion and that's not my child, all that's going to do is put more stress on her and put stress on the baby. You know, regardless of the situation, you want the baby to come out as healthy as possible. And this situation is not healthy by any means. So with that being said, I leave the question up to you all. How do you guys feel about this situation? In this latest Dragon Ball T series concerning Blueface and Krishan, um, do you feel like they're finally over for good? Or do you feel like they'll be back next week and she'll be on social media skinning and grinning with that one tooth missing, you know what I'm saying, up under his arms? Or do you feel like, you know, at this point, Jonathan is over and he's going to go back to Jade and Alexis? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you guys like the video. Feel free to share the video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.